Hello everybody and welcome. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. We are back with some more Save Me Mr. Taco and we've got little crab guys after us. So let's see if we can get through here. I decided today to play in Game Boy Green so that we could have a little bit of different color and have a little bit of fun here with it. Uh, let's see what we are getting into today. We have talked to the not the princess that's not the we have talked to the princess but we do know that there is a crack in of now why can i not break those barrels oh, i didn't mean to change color i thought i could break the barrels with the i think i did something i now see i could break those barrels for some reason i can't break these over here oh well let's head on and keep treading forward is there there is a feather up there and i want it we are going to get this feather if it's the last thing i do i think the feathers are a little bit of the like completionist thing it's not absolutely necessary but it, it is something that could help you out kind of you are a completionist sort of player i am definitely not a completionist so we will just go through here as oh oh we got hit oh that's not good we're back down to our little okay there we go let's get these guys out of our way there we go we got another level complete i did something and have lost i believe my little hat i have lost my little some of my hats and i keep on changing the colors for some reason i apologize i really thought and i think oh octopus octopus fortress I really thought there was a way to dynamically change the hats and I messed it up somehow. Now that Taiko has arrived, I can reveal my battle plan. We will all leave for the human world tomorrow. There is a kingdom called Serona. It is ruled by a tyrannical king who's threatened the surrounding kingdom to increase his power. His rivals are the state of Bellies and the kingdom of Jador. They have decided to cooperate with us in order to overthrow him. Uh, I don't want to go to war. I know that working with humans bothers you as much as it bothers me. But do not worry, this is only the first part of my plan. Once the king of Serona falls, we will take over his command. From there, it will be easy to defeat the other human kingdom. The human species will decline and the octopuses will be saved. Mm, I don't want that. I hope you will not disappoint me, Taiko. I don't want to fight at all. I don't want to start a war. That's not good. Okay. But what's going on here? We're be sleeping and we're being visited by a fairy. Hey, hear my call, Taiko. It's time to wake up. Your actions show that a great destiny awaits you. Come to my cave and you will be rewarded. Okay, so let's see if we can find her cave then. Oh, that's my that's my friend. Now that we're friends, I can stay in your home. You want to wear one of your hats? Here it is. This is where I got. Okay, this guy I can switch it. Maybe that's what I was I was thinking. I knew somewhere I could switch the hats. A cute ribbon quest item. Hat of friendship. Take one more hit before dying. The prince hat shoots arrows. I want this one. I would rather take another hit. That would probably be ideal although the arrows are very beneficial they go my dots go out kind of drop a little bit my ink dots the uh arrows seem to go much straighter which would probably provide a better you know ability or, or better hit in some circumstances so the little rat squirrel guy is what okay i was not expecting that bounce there uh, the squirrel guy is the guy that I knew uh, switches my hat. There was someone I did. Hey. I bet you there's some way to get up there 
and this little guy right here oh can i not freeze oh he's a guy i could jump on that's right okay i could just he doesn't look very happy of me being on his head but that's all right okay i've got 99 of these little oops right down the hole whoops that's not good okay Let's see, I did not mean to jump. I don't really need all the crystal. Oh, is there anything up here? Nope. That fishy almost got me. Um, hmm, I'm not sure I could shoot there or make that jump. Let's get up there. Oh, to a high. I was hoping that I could hit to a higher spot. I died and I lost my hat, so that's not good. So we can only take one hit now. So if you have the hat on, it's probably better to not immediately die. <laughs> How am I gonna make that jump? That seems like a very, oh, I didn't even hit the jump button that time. Well, I did, but very, very too late. Wonder if there is like an up way I should be going. No, it doesn't seem like there is. I will just keep on trying here. Let's give it one more try and hopefully uh, we'll be able to make it. I think that I could probably make that jump from that closer ledge if I just hit it. There we go. Hit it right. There's a crab down here. I may have went the wrong way. What does this little sign say? Fairy cave. I bet there was something up here and it was a feather. I'm sh just sure of it. What's in the fairy cave? Okay, we're gonna have to jump on his head. He doesn't really like. I doesn't look like he likes that. Ah! I got killed. See, I don't have my little hat on anymore, which is not good. Uh, I wish that you wouldn't lose it when you died like that. But I, I guess I kind of understand the way that's going there. That's probably the one big complaint I have right now about the game. Other than that, I really enjoy the game, but the, yeah. I should be able to keep my hat, or he should be much more, um, like, common, I guess, is the word I want to use. Much more, he should be there much more often. But I think he's in my house now, so I could actually go back if I wanted to now at this point run back here and Paco and Bako's house. If I hop in here, he should be, there we go. So we can get our hat here now. Yes, I do want to wear one of my hats and I'm going to go for this one again and try not to fall into the holes. And it may last only, the, the way the hat works, it may only last until I die. You know, I get two hits. I lose the hat when I respawn. That just might be the way it is. I don't know. We're going to see that, how that works here. So we're going into level seven. We are in the fairy cave trying to find the fairy. And I don't really want to get hit, but I kind of want to try that out. So we'll see how that works if I get hit a couple times. Those little droppy things, I don't like that looks like a place from which I cannot return. So we are going to just, ooh, that's kind of tight there. I don't want to like make a mistake and go down to a place where, okay, I am going to assume that I need to be in that spot down here and make a jump that I can't come back from. You know, that's what I was worried about there. Okay. But I might be able to with no, that fish is not going to help me. Well, we got our... Um, yeah, that's not big of a jump. We got our ink filled all back up. I actually kind of like the ink. I'm not going to make that jump. Let's just get back here and let that fish come back to life. Or what is... Uh, not a fish. It's probably like a eel or something is what I'm, I'm thinking. We're going to have to squeeze right in there. There we go. We got more crabs. Crabs on the way. Oh, look at that. I found I found it. I think I just broke the game. I didn't I bet I didn't break the game, but I found a a little, I don't know, 
maybe a unedited place or a place that I wasn't necessarily supposed to get into, I think. That, I like that I could look down. That's very helpful that I could look down. I very much appreciate that because there's not a whole lot of, um, like, blindfalls here, uh, which I really don't like in the kind of the whole aspect of gaming. But uh, being able to look down kind of alleviates that. And that's a whole screen. That's, that's a pretty decent amount to be able to look down. So I am impressed with that. These are the little folly platforms I got to be watchful for. Here we go. So at some point we should be able to get to see the fairy, I think. Let's keep on heading that. I like the short levels. I really, okay, we're in the fairy cave now. I really, really like the short, quick levels. It, it, it makes you feel that the progression is going. You're always going and getting further. You have finally reached my ca my cave. I am Labikova? Labi La, 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 big, oh, uh, the octopus fairy. She's the octopus fairy. I saw you rescue that human woman. You deserve a great gift. Yay, I love gifts. Oh, you want the power to breathe out of the sea like your brother. Ooh, I will grant you this power, but with one condition. You have to promise that you will never develop hatred towards humans. Ooh, as a human? I very much like that condition. I think he should agree to this because yeah, I don't like hatred towards me. Do you agree to this? Very well, I shall give you this power. Oh yeah. Uh, you can now breathe outside the water and discover the human world. Awesome. A gold bubble awaits you above my cave. It will take you to the human world. Don't forget what you promised. Awesome! I'm stoked. I'm totally stoked now. There's nothing to do over there. Come back. <laughs> that was funny. I guess I'm going this way. Don't go over that way. I, I, I find that really odd. Like, I don't know. It just was weird, I guess. All right, let's get in here and see the see the human world. Oh, there's the bubble. I see the bubble. Is there nothing over here? Is she gonna warn me that my did I just exit? Okay, I just exited the level. Okay, I was just curious. She's gonna yell at me again. I don't want to be yelled at. <laughs> oh, cool. We're. Sp I would think you would get very dizzy spinning like that. I don't know. Maybe octopuses do not get dizzy like humans do. I don't know. Uh oh. Run away, little man! All right, sweet. I could breathe on the land now. I wouldn't think. Oct well, no, octopuses actually have a very okay time going on land. Okay, so we. Oh, oh, awesome. So I can go. So it looks like we've got to another place, like a like a second half of the game here. Uh, we spent the first half in the kind of octopus world. We got my little dapper hat shop here. I don't know if this will take me to my house or house on the cliff. Interesting. Who are you? Oh, I think I scared that person away. Hey, there's a chicken. <laughs> chicken. Chicken, chicken, chicken. All okay. right. Let's go in here. Yeah, so the, the, what is he, a squirrel? He's underwater, so I doubt he's a squirrel. I found this abandoned house on a cliff. You want to wear one of your hats? Yeah, I want to wear my heart hat. Let's just keep with my heart hat. Yeah, I like it. Okay. Let's run through another little level. There. Oh, <laughs> yes. That I got a just got a, a, a chicken attack. Um, what's the call it? Chicken attack achievement. That's pretty funny. All right, let's go. Stop playing around and get into another level. One more level just to see what the human world's like, and then I think we're gonna end it. We got a, probably a lot more barrels up here. Um, since. Oh, that is actually a different shape. I haven't noticed that. These are barrels, more rounded, and these are jars. And I, I'm thinking that maybe earlier when I thought I couldn't shoot that. Uh, 
you know, barrel. It was it was a barrel and not a jar like this. Ooh, we got all kinds of new animals. We got a ooh, ooh, that was close. Where what happened to my lost my hat already somehow? I'm not sure what I hit to lose my hat, but I lost it. That's not good. Already lost my hat. Ugh, okay. Where is the? Ooh, I don't want to land on the seal there. Let's just climb that one. I guess slimy is not the right word. <laughs> That's not the. Right. Ooh, that was close. I got scared. Okay, run. That guy will actually, I think he peer, appears. Yeah, my squirrel friend appears. Let's get my hat back on. There we go. Sweet. Okay. Ooh, there's a treasure chest down there. But a locked door. What does this say? The secret base, Leo. <laughs> my secret base, Leo. There we go. Let's get rid of these birds. These birds are like scary i'm i'm afraid of the birds you know there is that alfred hitchcock movie yo birds so we gotta be really careful of these things okay see oh i missed the sea lion there but there we go these are deadly animals that are have a voracious appetites and killer instincts that's what birds are oh oh no oh okay I'm kind of understanding how the hat works. I think. I still have my hat. It's still up there in my little hat slot. So I'm going to assume that, oh, I'm going to get it back if I die. He, oh, I can't. She, those are barrels and not pots. I got to keep those separate. Can I get? No, it does not appear that I can get up there. Oh, there I go. There's something up here. I want up here. There we go. Some crystal. Still not 100% sure what the crystals do, but maybe we can buy something with them some point. We will see. Birds. Birds. I really don't like that I have to deal with the birds now. <laughs> uh, the birds are scared. Okay, there's my hat, dude. Oh, it's, oh here we go. Now oh, that put my... Oh, sweet. Oh, that put my hat back on, so now I'm... I should be able to get the hits back. I need to keep him in my sights and hopefully we can, I bet there is a thing up there I bet you anything that there is a lots of feathers up in these little sections that was kind of a a you know a, a blind drop there but because the the oh shoot the ink drop was where it was it was easy to see that there was probably something under that not only that but i did have the ability to push down and see underneath me so that i mean things like that is not make it that big of a deal uh i do appreciate that you uh came out and watched and hung out with me for a little bit i uh hope you come we're gonna explore this little forest There's a little bit of forest over here i wasn't exploring enough come on. Well, thank you so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. And that's going these eyes. There's I keep on trying to finish, but there's scary little eyes in the background. Oh, okay. well, thank you. I will see you next time. And bye, everybody.